the destroyer and welcome back to another video and today we are playing soul historica now i got past that little part right there after a lot of digging wait why is Ibis here and she's poisoned okay great uh of course she was she's dead uh she killed herself <laughs> she you you killed yourself <laughs> Uh, let me revive her. Dang. Hey, stop it. I'm gonna get stung. Come on. Eh. Mom. Formation. Well, actually, no, I remember. I know why I put it this there. Never mind. Let me clear that. Now let's go in here. I've never went in here. He's right here. Lizard man, once again. Got my face. Got my face. Hi, you miss. Kill you. Hi, you miss. I think that's the first time that's happened. Ooh, part of the story. This place is pretty huge. I never thought there would be this much space inside these ruins. I probably should look for a girl to love. Wait. I know this place. I've seen it before. Are you sure, Fiora? That's great. That means you've been to these ruins before, Fiora. Yeah. I can kind of remember it now. It's right ahead, I'm sure of it. The room I saw in my dream. With the coat of arms. I think there was someone else with me when I was here. You'll probably remember that too. Let's keep going. I'm all for that plan, but unfortunately, it looks like it won't be that simple. Ah! No. What is that thing? I've never seen such a terrifying monster. The guardian, the guardian of the ruins. I guess it seems like it wants to get rid of us. So unless we defeat that thing, we can't go any farther. Very well. I think it'll find us more dangerous than this usual prey. What is it? Oh, what's the name of this homunculus? Leviathan? Oh no, Leviathan lives underwater. Are you stupid? Leviathan is a water dragon. Come on now. Come on now. Come on, that didn't take anyone out. Come on, what the? Let me try. I don't have to use Stinging Gale. Poison Cloud. No one's poisoned, though. Uh. Uh, York has something. Breaking Rush, yeah. That better not be healing. I have a really bad feeling about that. Kill one of them, thank you. 25? A 
on my face. This seems way too easy. Okay, now he's starting to get mad. Recovery. Heal yourself. Ra. Yeah, maybe crash is the way to go. Come on now. Recovery. That doesn't seem good. Come on. Recover. I'm gonna just. I was only poison cloud. I got you. Come on now. His health is insane. I've been doing all this damage to him finally. But that dude was not real hard at all. Cause we had the I had them. I had farm with them a lot. I'm almost level 30. Even though the max in this is a hundred, so. <laughs> Nothing else stands in our way. There might be something else. We can't be sure. We should probably do what we came here to do as quickly as possible. And now we go back. To... Why just make us move that little space? Why not do it on your own? That was kind of... This is it. The room in question. The coat of arms design painted on the floor. It's definitely the same as the one Ario showed Fiora all those days ago. Yes. This is the place. This is the place I dreamed of. But it's no good. I definitely remember coming here, but nothing else. Wait a second. What is it, Fiora? Do you remember something? No. I just... I think I heard something. You heard something? What? We didn't hear anything. A sound that only Fiora can hear. I thought so. What are you talking about, Arioch? Do you know something about this? These ruins are responding to Fiora's presence. Her soul is waking them up. This is why Nemesis was hiding Fiora. What are you talking about, Arioch? What's the connection between Fiora and these ruins? It'd be quicker to just show you. Behold, memories of ancient times and noble mission, and the origin of this world. What? Urgh! Dang! Professor, the curse has infected Residential District 3. The macromolecular filters appear to be falling. Team number five has been wiped out. This means, other than those who bet their lives on that experiment, they are all dead. Our oxygen recycler has also stopped functioning. We're almost out of time. We have to finish in time somehow. Father. No. Father, the sandbox world is running. The digitization of soul structures is working flawlessly. My work is complete. That's my daughter. Now all we need to do is synchronize the angel, and a faint glimmer of hope will still remain for humanity. You go into the sandbox world first. I'll complete the angel, somehow. We'll join you later, don't worry. Until we do, you need to lead the people already in the sandbox world. What? I I can't, Father. You're the only one who really understands the sandbox world, not to mention the angel. Please, there's no time. I'm not sure there's enough oxygen left for us to finish adjusting the angel's param parameters. You're only 
You only look worried on the sandbox world. You couldn't help us with the angel even if you wanted to. You'll get in the way. Go on. Leave us to our work. Please, you got to help them. The survivors know nothing about the world they're in now. You have to guide them. He's right. Not to mention the fact that the oxygen will last longer this way. It will buy us more time to make the necessary adjustments. Fine, but... It's only until you come join us. I'll be waiting for you. Promise me I'll see you on the inside. Aw, oh, man. I, that's Fiora. You can tell by her design. And that was her father. And he died. She's from a different, a whole different world? Oh, okay. That's kind of... How... Yeah. Her backstory, man. But she's definitely not Ibis. I mean, yeah, Eris. Of course. Now. Good night. That's done. What now? The spare oxygen units are down to 2.23%. There's not much time left. We can start asphyxiating at any moment. We have no other option. We must open the vents to the outside. Hope you all enjoyed this opportunity to breathe the outside air one last time. It's been so long. Hey, no one will enjoy it. Trust me. The outside air is thoroughly contaminated with the curse. It will be a death sentence for all of us. That's all. I know, but it will take a bit of time before we experience the symptoms. We can use that time to complete the angel system. If we can do that successfully, then we can chalk this up as a victory. My daughter will do the rest. She doesn't need us. As long as she's in the sandbox world, she'll do what needs to be done. Humanity will prosper in this land again someday. Please, let it work. Doubt was Fiora. What was that? The coat of arms started glowing. And then, was that some kind of vision? I saw it too. York, it's like we all had the same dream. That was no dream. That was a recording of events that occurred a long, long time ago. Those were the people who created our world. Eh? These ruins were originally built as a facility that could convey the events of the past to other people. What you just saw actually happened. So, those people in the white coats, they really lived a long, long time ago? But, what's the sandbox world? And what angel are they talking about? What happened all those years ago? I don't understand any of this. I'm sure all of this is very confusing to you. But everything is, is as you saw in the recording. Humanity was already destroyed. Other than those of us living in this sandbox world, that is. What? This sandbox world is a virtual reality space constructed to simulate the actual world. The world we live in now isn't real. Uh. Something called the curse poisoned the atmosphere of the original world. This phenomenon destroyed that world's environment, leaving behind a place where organic life forms could no longer survive. That's why the humans of that time made the decision to flee certain death by giving up their corp corporeal bodies and taking refuge in the virtual sandbox world as disembodied souls. So everything you see, everything you touch, and in fact, you yourselves, it's all fake. A virtual simulation, nothing more. But your souls are in here, so you're kind of, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of, how do you expect them to believe that? You're talking about our world? Do you really expect us to believe that? Believe or not, as you see fit. Just know that you can't keep the reality out by sticking your fingers in your ears and pretending you don't hear me. Ooh. Been coming for you, Ibis. Anyway, this world is no place for humans to live. We must return to reality, eventually. That's where the legend comes from. The legend that someday, an angel would appear to lead all the people to the promised land. The promised land? Are you talking about that old myth 
about a place called Paradise? You are insane. The Promised Land is nothing but a myth. There's no place like that anywhere in the world. People have already explored every part. Uh, yes. Of course they haven't found it. The Promised Land exists outside this world. To get to the Promised Land, we'll have to go through a gate. A gate between this world and the world of the Promised Land. And the only key that can open the gate is you, Fiora. I'm a key? Ariel, what are you planning on doing to me? Uh, he's not doing anything. I knew it. You false sympathy. That whole thing about getting revenge on Nemesis. All of it. Nothing but lies. Aryot, what is your true purpose? I apologize for keeping you in the dark, but it's not all lies. When I said I had a connection with Nemesis, I meant it. Regardless, now that it is apparent that my conjectures regarding Fiora were correct, I must insist on her cooperation. Cooperation? You mean, you want to go to this promised land place? Precisely. She must open up the gate. She must free the inhabitants of this accursed world. No, that won't be necessary. I had a feeling it was Nemesis. I called it in my head. Nemesis? An Ober? Long time no see, York. An Ibis. I can tell by the expression on your face that you finally heard the secret about this. Our sandbox world. Ah, uh, he was right. Don't be mad at Ario. This is all your fault. You knew about this too? That this entire world was fake? Yes. Lord Nemesis explained it to me. It doesn't matter though. Our duty is the same. To protect this world. That's why all I care about is accomplishing my mission. You won't get away this time. Come over here so I can tie you up. Oh, that sounds so wrong. I have finally found you, Fiora. Didn't I tell you to stay in your room? Nemesis, but... But I... Tell me all about it later, first. Master Man, you said your name was Arioch. I don't know who you are, but I won't let you do as you please. I was wondering when you showed up. I used procedures you weren't aware of, but you responded more quickly than I expected. Procedures I'm not aware of. So you were the cause of everything that's occurred up to now, I see. I never even suspected there was another person with the same clearance level as me. How long have you been in this world? Never mind your questions. Why are you hesitating? The key to the promised land is right here in front of us. Don't tell me you've decided to stay trapped in this temporary world forever. It's none of your business. We'll be taking Fiora back now. Or do you plan on resisting? Oh, I'm about to come for you, boy. I'm the one who's supposed to be managing Fiora. What? What are you talking about? Is that why you stole my heiress away from me? She wants to stay with me. How dare you ignore her free will? It's exactly as York says. Fiora belongs to no one but Fiora. The reason doesn't matter. You have no right to kidnap her. York, you're making a mistake. Fiora is an heiress. That person you love is. Why should I believe a word you say? I'm tired of all the nonsense. I won't let you take heiress. I won't let you take Fiora away a second time. I won't let anyone take her away. You fool. Shut up already. Can't you tell that Lord Nemesis is trying to settle things peacefully? You're lucky he's even willing to talk to a criminal such as yourself. We have a <laughs> we have every right to take her back by force. Hmm. By force, you say? So the winner gets to keep Fiora. That's easy enough to understand. I'm willing to go that route. Listen to you. You act as if Fiora was a mere object. All of you, forget about it. None of you can have Fiora. <laughs> He's not listening. He's like, I'm going to protect her. I love her. Um, did anyone consider her at all? She's just standing there and figured out she's the key to a whole nother world. And y'all just ignoring 
all of that. Really. Don't worry, Fiora. I'll protect you this time. I'll need your help, but you can count on me. Ibis. York. Thank you. Of course I want to stay with York. Very well. Maybe after a bit of punishment, you'll be more willing to listen to reason. Do we have to fight now? Oh. My. God. That was on purpose. I was about to say, there's no way. I don't care how strong you are. That was a one-shot kill. Oh, my gosh. Nemesis is a beast. Oh, man. Ah. That hurt bad. <laughs> oh, man. That was not meant to be fair. Oh, my gosh. You just came out of nowhere. Blah. Like Black Mage from Final Fantasy Meteor. Boom. Urgh. Such power. That's what you get from messing with Lord Nemesis. Yeah, but he can kick every one of yours, but... Ah! Ah! What was that? That was impossible. Uh, you think I'm done fighting? You haven't seen anything yet! I can see you still fail to understand the situation very well. As much as it pains me. I can keep doing this. <laughs> Stop. Stop it. I'm sorry. I'll go home with you. Just please. Stop hurting my friends. Please. Nemesis. Really? Alright, good. Thank you, Fiora. No. Fiora. What will it be, Ario, if you plan on resisting? I wouldn't mind fighting you. Just know that in your case, I wouldn't be holding back. No, that's alright. I can tell that fighting against you when you're not holding back would be a suicide mission no matter how many extra lives I had to spare. I know when I've been defeated, I surrender. A wise decision now to lower your clearance level. Do whatever you want. There. Come on, Fiora. You promised. Time to go. Okay. Well. We weren't together long, but you showed me all sorts of new things. It was fun. I'm so sorry I couldn't remember anything else. Goodbye, York. Goodbye, Ibis. And now she's gone. Again. Totally forgot where York said. I was trying to get the other thing. He got out, too. Are, are you satisfied now, Nemesis? Is your objective so important that it outweighs basic human dignity? Dignity? Who are you to talk about dignity? I heard about that night you killed while on the run. Is that what you mean by dignity? That... That was... Then she got up. Yes, yes. We admit it. We killed him. But that was only because he took Fiora as a hostage and was about to kill her. I've already heard about that incident. I'm willing to overlook your, your taking Fiora away this one time. But I'm afraid I'll have to banish both of you permanently from the Order of Knights. Goodbye, York. Ibis. You're letting us go? It's because of all your years of service as Holy Knights. You owe your lies to Lord Nemesis and the kindness of his heart. So please, forget about me, Fiora. I promise I won't let her come to any harm. Please, forget everything. Seek your happiness somewhere else. Start your life over again. Happiness? Do you know any idea what I've been through the past three years? You know nothing! <laughs> Turn my back on you. It doesn't matter. Forget it all. It's what heiress would want for you. He brought in your dead girlfriend. Uh... <sighs> no. You can't say anything. Yeah, just be quiet, York. Just be quiet. Just be quiet. How can I? How can I ever forget Eris? You're sane! Watch Arya to be like, um, nothing but Eris. It doesn't matter. You lost. A loser can, compl can complain all he wants. It won't change anything. <laughs> he just called him a loser. 
Nobody asked you. You, the coward who didn't even dare to fight Nemesis. He was actually just being smart. You got one shot. Like you were a bug. He squashed you. And there was him holding back. He was holding back. He could have one shot killed you. And that's what would have happened to Ariyoch. He was being smart. Don't even. Ouch. That hurts. But what would be the point of engaging in a battle without a chance of victory? Even if we could have defeated Nemesis, what would you have done about all the knights waiting outside? Well, you're re you really need to think a little harder. There are other strategies. For instance, bidding one's time until the perfect opportunity presents itself. That makes a lot of sense. Ariyoch, you sound like you have a particular perfect opportunity in mind. Of course. I'll need your cooperation to make it work, though. And after we rescue Fiora, you expect us to help you open up that gate to the promised land you were talking about. Forget about it. I won't let you involve her in anything so sketchy. Think about what you're saying. Nemesis is the one who just took Fiora away from you. Is that really an argument you want to be making right now? You and I both have our motive, but does any of that really matter? We both have a common problem to solve. Our interests are aligned for the moment, wouldn't you say? For the moment. Um, you gotta peep that. For the moment, he will... So you want us to continue cooperating until we rescue Fiora, just like before? Exactly right. If you plan on refusing my request, you can still do that after we res rescue Fiora. Ibis, don't tell me you plan on trusting this guy again, do you? He did save... Yeah, but you you saw how powerful Nemesis is, didn't you? There's no way you and I will be able to give Fiora back without help. If they reach the Tower of Saints, we'll never get another chance. We need Ariyoch's strength right now, not to mention his strategy. Alright, none of it matters until we get Fiora back anyway. So we have an agreement. Now, listen, here's what we need to do. The fleet taking Fiora back to the Tower of Saints should be sailing to the north here right now. They can't be traveling very fast and they need to stick together. In other words, if we sail at full speed, we should be able to catch them. There's still plenty of time. What? And attack their fleet? They've got cannons. They'll sink us. Relax. I have a little trick to, sh to show you that will prevent that from happening. This will allow us to board the flagship where Fiora is being held captive without any of the other ships spotting us. And that will drastically reduce the number of enemies we have to fight. Then, how will we get away after we have her? That shouldn't be a problem. If the strategy succeeds, we'll have Fiora with us. Nemesis has been very careful not to hurt Fiora. He won't authorize the use of cannons. And then we take advantage of our faster ship to outrun the knight's fleet. This sounds like our only option. Correct. As for my request, you can consider it after we rescue Fiora. And if we refuse... Well... I hope you don't. I can only recommend that you take a cooperative stance at that conjuncture. I see. I look forward to that. Don't expect me to be defeated by a coward like you. <clears throat> York. In the stats, you may be a little bit better. Only a little bit. But in reality, I'm pretty sure Ariosha will whoop you. Whoop you. And that's gonna be the end for the video. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. If you have, make sure to show me some love. Hit that like button down below. Like, comment, subscribe, and stay on my channel. And yeah, I'll see you dudes in the next video. Peace. I'm just singing cause it's over. Yeah. Uh.